traveling to every famous space object, front and back views. As the sun sets, Earth begins to change. Light fades, and the universe slowly reveals itself. Our Milky Way, stretching across the sky. If you ever wonder what it would be like to travel to the moon, even Jupiter, and beyond our solar system, The moon shines so bright, everything else fades away. Most people looking through a telescope see it like this. Wow, that was a short journey. But our adventure doesn't stop here, from the moon, to Jupiter, to galaxies far away. And by the end, we'll reach Tun 618, one of the largest black holes known. The universe is bigger than you can imagine. Let's keep going. Next stop, Jupiter, the giant of our solar system. Our journey continues toward Jupiter, the largest planet. That's over 2,500x the distance to the moon. Here's Io, one of Jupiter's many moons, and all the way back to Earth, a world we call home. The Great Red Spot, a storm bigger than Earth itself. Up next, Saturn, the planet with the beautiful rings. Let's replay from the back view so we can see the full spectacle. We can see Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars near the sun. Welcome to Saturn. Let's fly to Saturn's closest moon, Pan. Pan orbits inside Saturn's rings. It helps shape the rings around it. Saturn's rings are mostly made of ice, with some rock and dust. Some ring particles are as small as dust, others as big as houses. Up next, Neptune, the last planet before deep space. Somewhere in the vastness. There it is, Neptune. Neptune is about 3.5 times farther from Earth than Saturn. From Saturn to Neptune. The stars hardly move. They are incredibly far away. The sun grows dimmer as we journey deeper into space. Here we are, Neptune, the farthest planet in our solar system. Neptune's rings are faint and much thinner than Saturn's iconic rings. Zooming in on Triton, Neptune's largest moon, one of the coldest places in the solar system, Tuthradici. Remember how we started our journey here, traveling from Earth to the moon. Humanity has only ever landed this far once. The distance from Earth to Neptune is almost 19,000 times farther than to the moon. Goodbye, Earth. We're heading into deep space. Next up, Orion Nebula, the brightest nebula visible from Earth. What it looks like from Earth. Orion Nebula, 1344, light years from Earth. A colorful cloud of gas and dust, glowing pink and blue in the darkness. The orbits are now shown to illustrate the scale of our solar system. Let's stop right here. Let me show you where our home is before we leave the solar system. Earth is incredibly small compared to the Milky Way, and even our entire solar system is tiny. Let's continue toward the Orion Nebula, 
Watch closely as our solar system fades away. The nebula stretches 24 light years across, a stellar nursery where stars are born. At its center lies the trapezium cluster, a group of young, massive stars. Inside a nebula, the sky wouldn't be dark. Massive stars shine nearby, lighting the nebula from within. It would be incredible to live here and see this view every day, but the intense radiation would quickly destroy our cells and DNA. All right, let's head back to Earth and travel from our home planet to the Pillars of Creation, one of the most famous and beautiful images in space. Returning to Earth. In this view, we start from behind Earth and zoom toward the Pillars of Creation, located in the Eagle Nebula, Messier 16. At this distance, the pillars look extremely small and almost invisible. Many people expect to see a bright, colorful image, like the famous NASA pictures. Those colorful images are created using ultraviolet and infrared light, which our eyes cannot see. They are stellar nurseries where new stars are forming. Get ready! because we're about to leave Earth and journey. Six five hundred light years to the pillars of creation. We increase the exposure so we can see it much better. The pillars of creation are about four light years tall. They're dark brown and reddish with glowing edges where intense starlight is burning the gas. I'm standing on a random moon near the pillars of creation, way closer than we could ever see from Earth. It is so bright. The pillars of creation hide the nearby large and small Magellanic clouds. It looks close, but it's actually 13 light years away from us. All right, let's leave here and head back to Earth. Our next stop is the heart of the Milky Way. Looking at the Milky Way ahead before we travel to Sagittarius A, the supermassive black hole at the galaxy's center. We've traveled a quarter of the way across the Milky Way, since Sagittarius A is about 25,000 light years away from us. Sagittarius A isn't just insanely massive. Its event horizon is bigger than Mercury's orbit. It packs four million times the mass of our sun into a single point, and its gravity rules the entire Milky Way. Countless stars are orbiting Sagittarius A at incredible speeds, and it takes our solar system about 250 million years to complete one full orbit around it. This is an amazing view. Now it's time to head back to Earth. Remember, traveling from Earth to the moon is just 230,000 kilometers, but heading to the Andromeda Galaxy is on a whole different level. The Andromeda Galaxy looks only slightly bigger than the moon from Earth, but it's actually millions of light years away. It is the largest galaxy in our local group, even bigger than the Milky Way. Get ready! We're about to travel from Earth all the way to the Andromeda Galaxy.
We just traveled from the Milky Way to Andromeda, a distance of 2.5 million light years. The Andromeda galaxy is moving toward us at about 110 kilometers per second. But it will take around 4.5 billion years before it collides with the Milky Way and merges into one giant galaxy. Andromeda is the nearest large galaxy to the Milky Way. It is bigger than the Milky Way and about two times larger than our galaxy. We are inside the Andromeda galaxy, standing on a random planet. This is not the Milky Way. It is the Triangulum Galaxy. This is our home, somewhere in the Milky Way. It will appear smaller than Andromeda looks from Earth. Traveling to the supermassive black hole of the Andromeda Galaxy. At its center lies a supermassive black hole, 100 million times the mass of our sun. It's much bigger than the Milky Way's Sagittarius A, which has a mass of 4 million suns. The Milky Way and Andromeda are racing toward each other at 110 kilometers per second. To watch them collide, we have to speed up time to 50 million years per second. Yes, 50 million years per second, because everything in space is so huge and moves incredibly slow. That was the most amazing clip I've ever seen. Now we're returning to our Milky Way. Next, we're heading to the largest black hole ever discovered. But first, we have to start from the Milky Way, not just our little solar system. It is about 18.2 billion light years away from Earth. We are now traveling to Ton 618. Every dot you see is an entire galaxy. The universe holds billions, possibly trillions of galaxies. Ton 6 and 18 is the largest black hole ever discovered. It has a mass of about 66 billion suns. Ton 618 is a quasar, meaning it is actively feeding and releasing insane amounts of energy, brighter than entire galaxies. Its event horizon is so huge that light would take days just to cross it. I'm standing on a random moon. Ton 618 is right in front of me. It may look close, but it is actually four light years away. It would blind you instantly because it is a quasar. I moved to a random moon that is 10 light years away from Ton 618, and it still looks huge. These are binary stars. Now 25, light years away from Ton 618, it is still much brighter than the nearest stars, which are only about 10 AIU away from us. And it still dominates the sky. We are now outside Ton 618's galaxy, and we can see a tiny dot at the center. Our epic space journey is ending, and now we're heading home. This shows how tiny Earth and our solar system really are. Please excuse me if the AI narrator isn't perfect. I'm deaf. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this cosmic journey and learned something amazing. Don't forget to like and subscribe. There's so much more to explore in the universe, so stay tuned and keep looking up at the stars. You can watch this until the end. Enjoy!